Well, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, nor that you can easily train a dog out of its bad habits. Well, now there's an Australian franchise that has made its way to Canada. They want to prove they've got a paw up on the dog training competition. A rovering reporter, Laura Zilke, took the Barkbusters for a walk in the park. Sometimes she's just fabulous and, and we can't be without her and sometimes we just hate her and we just can't stand being around her and uh, it, there's no consistency, it's just one thing after the other. Ella has been Paul Dykstra's companion for all of her seven years. In that time, she has managed to give her human family a lot of love, but she has also managed to give them a lot of grief. Uh, she eats things, she's really bad for eating uh, bad things, uh, everything from... Uh, Gosh, uh, rat poison, birth control pills, uh, Nicorette gum, um, household cleaning products, uh, and, uh, you know, any kind of food product. Walk Ella down the street, and this friendly-looking Weimaraner's bark is as vicious as her bite. Try to leave her alone for a few minutes, and separation anxiety gets the best of her. So we really need her to relax and learn that she can be left out on her own. And that will give you a lot more freedom. You don't always have to be home yeah, with her yeah. or take her in the car with you. So what we need to teach Ella is to be calm and, and cool uh, and relaxed, knowing that you're going to come home and it's no great big deal. The man behind that explanation is Jeff Cook. Jeff is the Canadian franchiser of the Australian company Barkbusters, a home dog training system they say is so good They'll guarantee it for life. Barkbusters uses some pretty simple techniques and words uh, to help the dogs understand exactly what it is you want and what you don't want. And by doing that, they start to use their brain and they're not you know, guided by their stomach as much. It's all making sure they're using their brain. So they turn into thinking dogs. So part of the theory behind Barkbusters is that you actually communicate with a dog the way dogs communicate with each other. In fact, they almost use a growling barking sound. You think that'll work, huh? You think? Oh, maybe. The, the way to actually communicate with dogs is we use the word, which you'll see her actually probably look at me when I do this. Bah! See her look up at me? Good mm -hmm. girl. It's very similar to the sound that the mum makes when she's correcting the dog's behaviour. And it's the way dogs say no. Dogs don't, you know, say no. They actually growl. And it's, it's just their language. You, you can find Barkbusters growling at over 200 franchises in six countries around the world, now including a pawful right here in Canada. So we're going to start to get her a little bit distracted and see if she starts to take notice. She's like, okay, now call her back. Come Push here. Down and come call here. her back. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Just an hour and a half after beginning her training, we already see a very different Ella from making a walk down the street seem more like a walk in the park to the strong temptation of food on the kitchen table. Good girl, good girl. Ella's owner is obviously very proud. Before, like, the whole world was a distraction for her and she's not distracted at all really right now. She's just content. For Money Wise, I'm Laura Zilke. For more information and to find a trainer near you, go to the company's website at www.barkbusters.com dot com.